Ironside Pond is small, only a few acres in size. It's essentially a teardrop shape with a deep bucket and a shallow finger to its north end. There's a lake aeration program annually and the lake is closed through winter. This day use site has a small parking lot with a wide gravel trail to walk 75 meters to the lake. Ironside Pond is located just north of the Prairie Creek Road south of Rocky Mountain House. It's a great location in close proximity to Mitchell Lake which is located due south of the Ironside turnoff from the Prairie Creek Road. Mitchell Lake is managed for rainbows and browns and has a small campground. Struble Lake is just west of Mitchell Lake and has rainbows. Cow Lake is immediately north of Ironside, though a 15 minutes drive. It's a great pike fishery with a large campground. And for stream anglers, Prairie Creek wraps around Struble, Mitchell and Ironside. Prairie is a great location for brown trout and worth exploring. Ironside is managed as part of the quality stock fishery protocols, meaning a lighter density of stocked rainbows and is catch and release. There's really only room for 15 small watercraft and each of those truly needs to be diligent in observing what other anglers are doing and make an earnest attempt at respecting each other's fishing water. There's ample opportunity to enjoy a great day so long as we each play by the golden rule. Beaver Lake was Alberta's first quality stock trout fishery. It now has a long popularity of producing larger rainbow trout thanks to a lower stocking rate with catch and release regulations and a bait ban. Beaver's located 10 kilometers southwest of Caroline, south of Highway 54 on Range Road 63. It's a day use location with simple facilities and a boat launch for non gas powered watercraft. It's an aerated lake and is closed through winter. The lake features a deep bucket in the main body with shallow weed and reed areas in the east and south bays. These can offer good angling spring and fall particularly. The main body of the lake near the island is quite popular during the cronwood hatches of spring through early summer and many boats will anchor there daily. It's rare to have fewer than a dozen small watercraft on the lake. It's certainly popular. Etiquette in higher angler use lakes simply says to give as wide berth about each other as possible, so on your first trip simply observe what others are doing and give way more than you usually would and allow folks their space even if you aren't catching trout and they are. Trolling is quite difficult as many anglers have anchored up and fan cast. Beaver Lake is also an exceptional location for bird watching. The reeds and weed beds are prolific and offer tremendous cover for nesting and feeding birds. The lake is quite a unique ecosystem for all its features. As you travel Alberta's highways, chances are that you're passing several small hidden gems only a few minutes away. Alberta has dozens of small stock trout ponds. Many are natural draws or small reservoirs on springs and seeps. And many of these are only 1 to 10 minutes away from our highways. Of course, not all these waters are large enough nor get enough angling pressure to warrant lake aeration. So they're stocked annually to provide unique angling opportunities where previously there was none. Many of these ponds have simple facilities, 
a walking trail about the water, perhaps a casting dock and a picnic area. While many of these ponds do winter kill, some have high enough dissolved oxygen content to overwinter trout and larger trout do quietly grow in locations the public assumes to have small stalkers. These ponds are certainly worth poking around. And no matter what roadside pond you choose, a calm warm summer night will provide wonderful moments with rising trout all around. It's worth checking out the Alberta Conservation Association's Discover Guide, Alberta's Guide to Sport Fishing Regulations, or the Alberta Fishing Guide for more information about these roadside ponds. They offer a few hours or a full day's angling in some wonderful settings. These ponds literally teem with life. The reed lines, lily pads and weed edges offer trout excellent habitat to grow quickly and that same habitat is home to incredible bird life. 